Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Isaac Frost and Anthony Johnson. So here he is, folks, a man who many believe is the most powerful striker to ever step foot inside the UFC octagon, a man who actually at one point was a welterweight, if you can believe that, Anthony Rumble Johnson making the walk once again here tonight. This guy has an incredible ability to control fighters. It's extremely frustrating for the man on the bottom, but once he gets the fight to the ground, oftentimes that is where the fight will remain. Shades of Trago and Rocky IV, every time this guy makes the walk, he is the imposing Isaac Ice Cold Frost. To this point, his career in combat sports really has been defined by boxing. That series with the Bishop Brothers was unforgettable. Now, though, a lot of people are excited to see exactly how far Isaac Frost can take it as a viable UFC heavyweight. This guy has devastating choking technique. If he can get a hold of your neck, he can close it off like very few in the world. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Johnson is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Los it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record now. 22 wins, six losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Anthony! And now a finishing opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Ice Man. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this morning. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go fight. down right Great. now. Good. Here we go. With as deadly a mix of speed and power as anyone on the roster, here he is, Anthony Rumble Johnson. <laughs> got to be a difficult guy to prepare for. How do you simulate that power in the gym in sparring? Going to be a hard guy to get out of there tonight. Anthony Rumble Johnson back in another big spot. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. All right, first round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight nights. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. With the jab. Connects there with the punch. And just misses with that big right hand. Johnson's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. 
Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot, Joe, and he paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the guard high, but that means the body is exposed, and the opposition took full advantage there. Nasty leg kick lands. And there he swung with a haymaker. was blocked. Yeah, he's digging into that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. How about that shin? Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Finds his range with the jab. Clean hook. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, there he connected. Oh, a huge block there. Good job of avoiding the clinch, Joe. That landed. There's a shot deep. That hurt sounds me. Oh. We have reached the end of round one. And let's take a look here. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. You're fine right now. You got clipped. You were robbed. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Whoa! This could be it right here. The left hook hits home. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Johnson. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight. Oh! This could be it. Get those hands up. Tagged him. Straight punch. Useful. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that counter. Johnson gets caught with that punch. Leg kick. Whoa! He tagged him. He's in big trouble. But that one really hurt him. Oh, he's tagging him. Oh! Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Lands a punch. 90 seconds now to go in the round. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. 
That one hurt. Lands a big left hand. Oh, jumped him again. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. So battling for position here on the clinch once again, Joe. Both fighters trying to gain a more advantageous position. It appears that cut is getting worse. And separate. There's a nice left hand. And oh, that's oh, the end oh, of oh, the oh, and there's the horn, huge knockdown in that round. Great round from Johnson. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's take a look at that from a different camera. And let's look at that again. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. Third round underway. How about that chin? Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace. Whoa! He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, he tagged him! Oh, this is crazy! Oh, my goodness! He's got him hurt here. Oh! Up to his feet. He moved right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here moving forward. Oh! Wow! Wow! Huge uppercut for the win. Yeah, Joe, a pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it again. Boom! Perfectly placed uppercut. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iceman. Well, Isaac Frost has arrived, ladies and gentlemen, and ice cold, I might add. A big win for Frost here tonight, and any remaining doubters got to be few and far between, I would think, Joe Rogan, at this point in time. Isaac Frost has arrived in the UFC's heavyweight division. I'm still